This new dual clutch removal and refitting toolkit is designed to assist in the extraction of the dual clutch pack from the four dry plate dual clutch transmissions. This really does make this a straightforward job. With the gearbox removed from the vehicle, place it on the bench with the clutch pack facing upwards. Note the position of the mark on the clutch center drive plate. Next, use the laser 7877 to remove the clutch center drive plate snap ring. Then remove the plate from the clutch. Now you are ready to remove the snap ring holding the clutch pack. Again, use laser 7877 to do this. Align the extraction plate to the clutch pack, as detailed in the tool instructions. An important point is to ensure the clutch assembly is aligned as shown. Then assemble the clutch pack extraction plate and extraction hooks and secure with the knurled fixing nuts. Always remember to lubricate the force screw with molybdenum disulfide grease. Screw in the force screw, which pushes down directly on the input shaft. This pulls the clutch pack up to allow the whole assembly to be moved clear. Before refitting, check both clutch release mechanisms are correctly set and, using laser 7821, replace both input shaft oil seals. Remove the force screw and lift the clutch back onto the gearbox. If you're fitting a new clutch, attach the extraction tool to the clutch, as it's easier to lift with the tool still attached. Remove the extraction tool from the clutch, together with the extraction hooks. we can assemble the insertion bridge. Again, follow the instructions included with the tool. Assemble the insertion bridge onto the gearbox as shown. Again, ensure the force screw has a sufficient amount of grease before fitting it into the insertion bridge. Ensure the bridge assembly bolts and bridge to bell housing bolts are secured tightly. Now screw down the clutch assembly until the top of the snap ring groove is visible. Back off the force screw, expand the snap ring and fit it over the outer shaft. Screw down to push the snap ring into place. We have now finished the clutch pack fitting procedure. Remove the insertion bridge to allow assembly of the remaining clutch parts. Take care to align the mark on the plate with the mark on the clutch spigot. Then use laser 7877 to push the clutch snap ring back into place. Mm -hmm. 